Hey, this is Josh and Ben from Miami Horror. We're taking over Rage for the evening. Stick around. What are we going to play, Ben? Who have we got on our video list? We've got Air. We've got a lot of Australian dance acts. A lot obviously. of classic electronic music. Yeah. Stick around. It's going to be good. Hello. Yeah, the next one is Air. Cali, Watch the Stars. Air has been a favorite of mine since... I was 17, you too, right? I love them. I think yeah. they're my top five favorite bands of all time. Um, they're a big influence because they're so original. Well, they were so original at the time. Every sound they, they made was uh, kind of like reminiscent of something spacey. And it was just like nothing you'd heard at the time. And I think the last time we saw them was the whole... No, the... Um, Have you seen them? Yeah, you were there. No, I've never seen... Oh, yes, I did. We saw them at the... That's the only time I've ever seen them. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the I Greek theater in LA. Yes, at the Greek. Yeah. That was great. They were yeah. really good. Yeah. I've forgotten that. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. I wasn't drunk or I anything. I would have forgotten myself. Fire. Yeah. It's, we're getting old. It's starting yeah. to lose memory. <laughs> it was hard to pick a song of theirs that was our favorite, I guess. But, but that's just too classic, too good. Yeah. Yeah, so, so here you go. Ladies and gents, enjoy. Hey, this one is Le Rhythm Digitals. Hey, you, what's that sound? Um, yeah, one of the early kind of more obscure electronic artists. I I'd say, guess you'd say obscure because nobody remembers him as much now. Stuart Price. He was also Thin White Duke and um, what was his other pseudonym? He has a couple of pseudonyms. Very important uh, electronic producer, Stuart Price, yeah. Uh, and this video clip was kind of very relevant at the time where everyone was flashing back to 80s, um, bad quality kind of homemade video effects, green screen, um, boom, what are they called? Boom box stereos yeah. and things like that. Yeah. I remember the rhythm digital. I don't know yeah. this one. Excited yeah. to see it. Uh, the next one is Smashing Pumpkins 1979, which I think like Josh finds hilarious that I like anything by Smashing Pumpkins. This is be the only song of theirs that you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Yeah, like. the only one I know. And the reason <laughs> why I think it's important though is because it has a really nostalgic uh, feel, right? Like super... Yeah, of course. Th that emotion in a song is rare. And the video and, captures Yeah, and the video perfectly. captures sure. youth perfectly. It's shot in like, has a little um, fisheye lens kind of candid shots and it's, it's actually like pretty low quality video did um, it emotionally it, get you at the time as well i i don't remember i think how old would i been too young yeah maybe you would be yeah. quite young i'm a few just, years older just so a little a teenager, just well yeah i was listening to like heavy metal at that point i think <laughs> so <laughs> but not their other songs <laughs> no um but yeah so it's it really captures an atmosphere that i think like even with uh, M83's Midnight City, somebody Pitchfork referenced Smashing Pumpkins 1979, saying that was his kind of his modern version of that, which I mean, I, I don't agree completely. But yeah, I love that people look back at that song and there is something special about it. And it was a moment that existed in time. The video clips from the 90s. So you can really capture that atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, it is a perfect piece. Yeah. Good on you, Billy. Billy Corgan. William Patrick Corgan now. No yeah. longer Billy. He's grown up. Okay. Here we go. Hey, we're Miami Horror and you're watching Rage. Thanks for being here with us. This next one is The Jacksons. Can you feel it? Oh, special one. The Weeknd ripped the clip off, didn't he? I don't know. I don't, haven't seen the, the reference. Yeah, he did for... What's the song he did with Daft Punk? Uh, I can feel it coming. Come, yeah, 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 they yeah, totally yeah. just did the same thing with all the old sort of... Super vintage effects. Just yeah. like really... It really, again, represents that time. Uh, but they did it so much better than anyone else in that clip, I think. A lot of, a lot of that disco feel, like... Yeah. Early animation. I think, what, handmade animation? I don't even yeah, know how they Yeah, this one's really special. Yeah. I like it a lot. And it, it's funny, it starts off with all the other jackson brothers are singing and then when it sort of gets to the chorus pre-chorus but michael comes in and the whole song erupts and finally it turns into the piece that it is you just realize that the other brothers they know michael yeah right michael here we go hey 
This next one is Prince, I Want to Be Your Lover. We've got a few Prince songs in here, don't we? Across the evening, I think. This one, this video is just so ridiculous. When we were looking it up, Ben said that Prince looks a lot like his mom. When In what era of your mom's life? The 80s. The 80s with the big hair. Prince just looks exactly like a woman, but with a moustache, basically. basically. Yeah. And there's so many androgynous videos of his, so much of pushing of those boundaries in the 80s. But this one is just extra special. I think it encapsulates everything that is Prince and such a huge tune as well. I love Prince videos. Love Prince. This is going to make me happy. Let's do it. This next one's The Suburbs by Arcade Fire. And... Uh... The reason we're talking about this one is because it kind of represents a whole era of um, dystopian futuristic videos where, you know, like all the, it was, it was set in a dystopian future. Mm. Um, the military's kind of taken over the state and kids are kind of like watching the city burn from a distance behind a fence. And um, yeah, after, I think after this, if you're playing them in our order, there were a few more uh, videos like that based on that kind of uh, mid 2000s, late 2000s dystopian theme that was going on. Um, and I really like videos like that and it kind of reminds me of this old film Logan's Run which inspired the sometimes video clip of our song right, it did. Yes, I yeah so it's it's just all about that idea of like imagining being part of a totally different world and um, having to kind of live within that barrier very good we like Arcade Fire This next one is Kiwi Band, The Phoenix Foundation. After I mean, Air is one of my favorite bands, but I honestly think Phoenix Foundation is one of my favorite bands of all time as well. I guess there's similarities between those two bands, actually. I listen to every one of their records. If you haven't, check them out. I love them. This video is very sweet. It's uh, all the children in the hills, the young boy. And I just had to play something by these guys. And the song itself. Is, and the, so <laughs> and yeah. the song is so good as well. I think that's the main reason. Yeah. 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 I love this. Here we go. Let's do it. Hello, we're Miami Horror and you're watching Rage. When was the last time you watched Rage, Ben? Uh, I've been in America for 10 years, so at least that long. Okay. I watched, um, the last one I remember was Django Django. Did we play a Django Django song? I think we did. Yeah, we got Django Django. I really, Django really enjoyed it. They put on heaps of cool music. All their videos were good. It's nice to be giving back to the people. We hope you're enjoying what we're playing. Stick around. It's a dream come true. It really is. This next one is The Presets, My People. To me, I feel like at the time what we had, how many, Midnight Juggernauts record was out. The presets had already had their first record out. This was their next Cut one. Copy. Cut Copy probably had a couple of albums out. Miami Horror would have put their album out. Yeah, I think. No, we hadn't. We yeah. hadn't. That was 2008. Yeah, so, it was um, happening. Electronic. Yeah, but a lot of Australian music was taking over the world. So this is a rep representation of that. Yeah. Do you, what, do you have a specific feeling about I just feel like this one being my people and it being the like electro anthem of the time. It was everywhere and it felt inclusive and it was just encapsulated the whole sort of bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> it's super moment like, in time. Yeah, moment it, in time. It's basically as aggressive as the song you could have yeah, made yeah, yeah. that became a pop single like that's pretty crazy to think that it's, that song made it that way it's huge it's anthemic yeah. video is great by what's his brother's name chris moyes is that it yeah i think so i forget anyway uh here we go the presets my people yeah this is a junior senior move your feet i feel like at the time there was nothing like it it was so energetic and so uh nostalgic in a different way like nostalgic in a kind of referencing 70s and um the graphics are i think kind of very pixely and oh yeah the videos yeah, cool, the videos, the video is super cool but the song itself was just so exciting at the time and i think like any song like that that had had a reference away from what current dance music was in the late 90s and early 2000s um you know daft punk included um who else yeah i'm just thinking with this song it sort of almost became slightly 
well, it became tarnished a little bit and really mainstream because of So You Think You Can Dance and that. I think it got oh, no. tied yeah. in with that. But no, I, that's the thing. I, if, if a song is really, really great, it gets overplayed and overdone and it almost yeah. loses its sparkle. It was almost got- like waiting to bring that back and then realized everyone had already brought it back yet it was like um, we heard it the other night at the club i was enjoying it exactly yeah but uh really cool track and really different for the time this next one is gold frap ooh la la i think what's the record called supernatural supernature supernature i think this is the first really like electronic album i ever had i think before that had been lots of 90s rock and alt rock and then dare i say a little bit of new metal and i just remember hearing this gold frat record and this ooh la la song and just being obsessed with it and listening to it over and over and they kind of just got better and better as their records went on it's funny it's gold frap it's allison gold frap and a guy will gregory but he never goes on tour you never see him in any of the videos or anything but they are a duo just no one would ever know it i just thought it was the whole band basically yeah i guess but. so is jamiroquai's last name jamiroquai no it's jk isn't it if yeah. they were just called k it wouldn't have quite been <laughs> the same uh but this one is great video love gold frap let's have it This next one is Basement Jacks, Raindrops. Have you seen this video, Ben? Yeah, but so long ago, I don't remember. Pinal copied yeah, it yeah, for, okay. That's what I thought. for Chameleon. Like very, yeah, neon um, colors under a black light. Yeah, lots of painted body, filtered sideways, psychedelic. I mean, Basement Jacks have always had great videos. What's the one with, for Where's My Head At when the little monkey's in the... Um, science lab and then for romeo it's like the bollywood one these guys just didn't ever do much wrong they put all their effort into everything very maximal as well yeah in everything. totally <laughs> yeah i'm a big basement jacks fan i love heaps of their records all their videos so here we go raindrops this one's a bit sexy as well actually hey we're miami horror and you're watching rage it's you probably might, it's late isn't it it's very late uh we used to stay up this late all the time but now we don't what's no. the last the latest you stayed up last time probably after i uh, know i mean i probably stayed up 5 a.m last week you're a badass yeah do it well this no, is, this yeah. is for ben yeah. you'd be watching yourself yeah this next one is the power and the passion Midnight Oil. I feel like my, what they must get played a lot on Rage, wouldn't they? Every Probably Australian every week. Yeah. going to be playing Midnight Oil. Um, this song's good. I don't know what much more to say about it. This I saw them play in New York about four or five years ago for their tour. I guess it was a reunion tour of sorts. I think they're just back together now. But man, they were incredible. They still had so much vigor, so much power. Peter Garrett yeah. was sort of the same age as my dad and there's no way I could see my dad doing what Peter mm-hmm. Garrett was doing. And uh, this video is awesome because it kind of shows some streets of Sydney in the 80s. I love anything that kind of reveals those pieces of Australia that were covered up. You know, we don't, we've seen movies, but we don't get much of the kind of documentary style stuff. And when it appears mm-hmm. in videos, it's it really takes you back. And I, I feel like Sydney would have been a really interesting city in the 80s so um, and really beautiful so to see some of that like street art and graffiti on every walls and political um, graffiti is kind of interesting yeah so enjoy the video this song is Bombay by Al Guincho has an amazing film clip that inspired like a whole generation of filmmakers or video clip filmmakers Um, it's by the company Canada, um, you know, a lot of that kind of 70s influence, film, film-like film grade. I, I think it was shot on film. Does it have the sub- yellow subtitles? Yeah, the yellow subtitles. First first kind of thing to really do that and, and blow up. Um, and everyone wanted a video like it since. So, And he has a nice little intro where he talks about the cosmos at the start too, which is really uh, resonates with me. Do you personally. think the yellow subtitles are going to end? Did you do it on a new Miami Horror one? We did it in the new uh, telenovela yeah. video. I guess we did. 
do it but it's it's not really something yeah the yellow subtitles <laughs> will probably end but it's almost like these things they go in a trend it becomes lame and then it just becomes normal yeah i guess so, so i feel like this was the sort of the first one to really this was the first one yeah that really bring that blew back. Up. yeah good on you Al show okay so this next one's fox the fox precious little diamond i'm not sure which video you're gonna see there was a live version um shot in a studio kind of i, I don't th know if it was in italy but there was something i think there were like a half italian half um filipino band or something and they yeah it was, i was really obsessed with that kind of look when uh we were going through italo disco back in the day which inspired the next song after that um don't be on with her by miami horror that video clip so yeah i think if you haven't seen it and if this isn't the clip that comes up you should check online there's a video where they're performing live with a mirrored floor um and amazing like 80 stage props and the guy uh <laughs> the guy the lead singer just loves like all the attention and it's a brother and sister combo and if you watch closely she comes out and she she hits a gong with a big mallet and um, starts dancing and he looks at her sideways and shakes his head and like get off get out the like get out of my stage you know <laughs> and then she, she kind of awkwardly backs away and he keeps you know taking the limelight um i i feel like it won't be that video but um <laughs> it sounds good though i yeah, will check it out either way a huge inspiration for the our clip that yeah it was very italo disco inspired 80s um 80s stage props and things like that yeah Uh, this next one is the blaze territory and the blaze have a lot of amazing clips. They're directors themselves and filmmakers. So I kind of appreciate it far more for that aspect than the song itself. Um, I think was so special about them and that song and this song and some of their other videos is that they resonate so well and they, um, like the visuals and the, the emotion of the song connect together so well. Um, that they really kind of tell this story that you would only usually get with a film. And it's really inspiring in that way to connect those two elements again. I hadn't seen it done for, you know, many years in a, in, in a cool way. Um, and Which one's this one? This is the guy who's come home from... This is the guy who comes home from war or something you don't really know. And he uh, visits his family and I think it's in Tur It's probably in Istanbul or in Turkey somewhere. And yeah, their, film, their, their videos always showcase really nuanced like intimacy and connection between people and like scenes that you could just not even imagine it almost feels very documentary like very authentic how are they getting it this how are they putting it together i don't know they just must work so hard with making great videos um they are directors maybe they pull a lot of favors maybe their videos cost 40 grand each who knows but that but that's why i think they've had so much success it's kind of that yeah, combination and drawing this emotion out that um, a lot of electronic music doesn't and people just don't have the time and the budget and yeah. know how and can yeah. do to do but it's huh? inspiring to do something like that thank you so much for being with us this evening it was a pleasure to share all of those videos with us thanks for sticking around it must be very late five in the morning four in the morning it's a real giveaway that we're not recording this at the time that you're watching it because the sun is streaming in. <laughs> Unless it's just a very beautiful... It's sunny, a very early morning. Very here. early morning. We're here with you live at 5 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we're going to play a bunch of our videos now. What are we going to kick it off with, Ben? Um, the first one is Don't Be On With Her. This was the first Miami Horror clip ever made, as far as I'm aware. What year are we talking here? 2009, uh, 2008, I think. It's eight? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Um, the song itself is a clear Prince ripoff. I mean, let's be honest, that's embarrassing, <laughs> but, um, you were young. I, I mean, I just, I basically tried to rip off that song and all my friends are like, you should put that out. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know if this is a good idea, but it was cause it worked out well for us. It got the ball rolling. And, uh, the video itself was inspired. Yeah. By lots of really, really raw VHS eighties, um, Italian italo disco uh video clips and live performances so we wanted to recreate that atmosphere and if there's anything i love about it, it's this video thank you very much there's going to be some more miami horror videos after that some great some okay some downright bad maybe <laughs> we won't admit which are which 
Thank you for being here this evening. See you next time. Stay safe.